Subway gets so much hate. I fucking love Subway. Well, well, Subway. Just do it yourself. Just do it yourself. No. There's no better. Subway. 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 I mean, it's all right. It's all right? I don't know. I'm not... Not much on parties, I guess. Mm. Not a people person? I'm not a loud noise person. Yeah, I hear that. Gives me headaches. I got one of those right now. You got a headache right now? I was thinking about going outside. Yeah, I was going to suggest getting some air. Do you smell? I dabble. Do you want to go smoke? I could smoke right now, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me go get my coat. That might be out. Cold, huh? Yeah, I like this weather. It is the best if you like to shiver outside and smell like a jay. <laughs> and it's very nostalgic to me. Nostalgic? Mm -hmm. I guess people have their, their seasons that they like. So, where are you from? Arizona. But I moved here like a year ago. You're from Arizona and winter and cold is nostalgic to you? <laughs> it's kind of weird, I guess, but I used to um, visit with my parents once mm -hmm. a year because we have family up here. So. What would, you, uh, what would you and your family do when you visited? No, the usual. We'd uh, go to my aunt's house and dinner. Uh, then we go to my grandma's house and have dinner. Oh no, I reversed it. We go to my grandma's house for New Year's Eve and then we go to my aunt's house for Christmas Day so I'd see my dad's family and then my mom's family. Mm. Um, and have dinner and hang out and wait for Santa. Wait for Santa? Wait for Santa. Did you ever catch him? Almost, but... Never, never did. No, I always fell asleep. Yeah, I kept 
I kept staying up, like, three years in a row, I would try to stay up to catch him. And they would put on movies, and I would fall asleep to these boring movies, like, movies that I like now, but totally didn't like when I was... Puts you to sleep. Six or seven. Yeah, I don't know why I keep going out. It's because it's cold. But, <laughs> it's <But>, fire. <laughs> <coughs> well, what about you? What about me? Are you from here? Oh, yeah. Born and raised. Hmm. You like it? It's all right. It's all right? Well, you know, not every place is perfect. There are certain things that you didn't you like or certain things you did, didn't like. Right. It's like the place I was born. It's my home. I just kind of have to accept it. Makes sense. Like, all the weird people that you meet, mm -hmm. instead of getting, like, scared or upset, just be like... This is my life. This is, this is my home. These are my people that I talk to, I guess. The NPCs. Definitely. Sometimes I feel like they're the only people that I can talk to. Like, because mm. I'm not ever going to see them again, and they're never going to see me again unless, like, they're a regular NPC I have. But it's rare. <laughs> That's why they're an NPC and not, like, a friend or something. Right. Yeah, it's like a non-committal relationship. You can say stories, hear their stories, and then by the end of it, they're gone, and you don't have to slowly not talk to them anymore. Yeah. There is a beauty in that. It's limited. It has an end. True. It's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a jacket. I have a jacket inside. You should go get it. I was stupid to not bring it out here. But I'm a man. I just suffer. You should go get a jacket. <laughs> Definitely should go get a jacket. Fuck this car. Is that your car? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. You have a nice whip. Thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty beat, so I'm gonna head out. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the same way. You gonna head back then? Yeah, I'll head back inside and chill for a little bit. And by chill, do you mean sit on the couch and do nothing? Maybe. Well, don't have too much fun without me. I'll try not to. I don't think I ever got your name. Hmm? I don't think we ever exchanged names. My name? We didn't do the... Oh. My name's Wes. Wes Kelly. Nice to meet you, Wes. My name's Layla. Layla Waller. Nice to meet you, Layla. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> well, I'll uh, see you around. See ya. You ever see your husband? That dude was jacked. He was like some 6'2 fucking jack dude. Yeah, he was. I remember seeing the pictures in the classroom. He was like a lumberjack or something. He was built. They, they were, like, I remember she told me they did like a marathon together. I was like, damn. The party is starting now. Come on, homie. Get up. Come on. Uh.
Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> Dude, the party last night was epic. I saw. Speaking of the party, who were you talking to last night? Uh, her name's Layla. Layla Wallet. She's pretty cool. We, uh, we left outside. Yeah, we saw that and we were looking at you and we were like, okay, can we see you? <laughs> yeah. We just went out there to get some air and then she left shortly after that. But hey, either way, I'm happy for you. <laughs> And they left the rotten apples outside too, which is lovely. That's fine. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> I'm used to it. Besides, I had a good time anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, do you want anything to drink or something? No? No? Yeah. Alright. Hey, Layla is saying that she left her tan flannel here. Have you seen that? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> here, hold on. Let me get a picture. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Dude, anytime, King. You know how it is. <laughs> All right. I'm sweat. See you later, homie. <laughs> No problem. I didn't know you rode a bike. Yeah. You know, long ride? Not really. You were cold? I'm a little cold. But I am more hungry than cold, so I don't have to worry about that. Speaking of, would you want to get some lunch with me? Like right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's too bad. 
that I ate right before leaving. What'd you have? An old reliable grilled cheese. Can't go wrong with that. Definitely not, no. <laughs> okay. Well, if you just ate, would you maybe want to go get food with me sometime this weekend? Yeah. Yeah? Sure. Cool. What day were you thinking? Um, maybe Friday? Saturday? Yeah, I can do Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Um, I'll message you the details later. Sounds good. Thanks again for bringing me my plan. Yeah. Honestly, it was no problem. I'm happy to help. I will see you Saturday then. Saturday. Saturday. See you Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Yeah. Yes, it's very toasty in here. <laughs> when, I, when I stepped outside, I thought, oh, I'm gonna die of hypothermia. Wow, hopefully these tacos are as good as you say they are. You know, make it all worth it. I'm pretty sure they will be. Um, I remember saying the last time I was there that they could cure cancer. That might be jumping the gun, but we could find out. Okay, let's find out. You don't happen to... Let's uh, put it to the test. Do I happen to... Have cancer? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we don't. I don't know if we're gonna be able to test it then. Oh, do you know anyone with cancer? I've been to this place once in high school. Back then, we all, me and my friends, we all had uh, one-hour lunches, and we'd go out and explore new food options and try new things. I remember this taco one was like way better than a lot of the ones we went to. You never go get any by yourself? I don't really like going and eating out by myself. I feel like uh, food tastes better when you have somebody to share it with, you know, the company. What about your friend, the, um, the one that's for the party? We usually eat at his place. Uh, we'll have like pizza or <laughs> dino nuggies or something. <laughs> And if we do go out to eat, usually it's like chicken tenders or fries or something like that. Oh, I see, I see. So you're friends with a child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I am. I'm a little bit of a child. Thanks again for picking me up. Of course, it's my pleasure. Thanks for tonight. It was my pleasure. <laughs>
Um, text me when you get home. Text? I'm. Message? I'm at message. Oh, then you want my number. Maybe. <laughs> okay, give me your phone. See ya.
I feel like I should give you gas money for driving all over the place. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem. I like driving, so. Well, you know, I still, you know, I feel like... I feel like I should find a way to pay you back somehow. No, it's not a problem. Oh, that's too bad. You did not. I got oh. you this. My gosh. I feel so bad. I didn't get you anything. You driving me is enough. Like, seriously. It's fine. You're so sweet. You gonna open it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's buried under fuzz. Oh, it's so pretty. I thought you would uh, start missing the trees when you were in Arizona. Yeah. Do you wanna help me put it up? Yeah, sure. How is it? Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I suppose... I have something else to say. What's that? I just wanted to thank you. For what? For driving? Because we've already been through that. Not for driving. Um, this is something else. <sighs> um, I just wanted to... I just wanted to thank you for talking to me at that party. Of course. And I wanted to thank you also for, like, these past three weeks. I don't know if it's the places we're going to or if it's the person I'm spending my time with, but I don't know. I feel like I've been more present and had more fun and just lived more in these last three weeks than, than I've lived in a very long time. And, you know, with you going back to Arizona, I couldn't leave it inside. I had to let you know how important you were before before I can tell you in person. Thank you.
Oh! Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Uh, you gonna drink that soon. <laughs> Y'all wanna run it up? I'm down, what about you? Nah, nah, me, nah. I'm gonna go with my partner real quick. Right, say, say no more, say no more. I'm white, I don't drink that. Vanilla Pete. 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 Vanilla Boy, come on, let's go.